Hi Sagittarius, what is going on? What's the crack? Hope you're well. This is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be um, a message just from your person for August, Sag. But it's timeless. <laughs> um, you are so welcome here. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. If you find it resonates with you, um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And if it really resonates with you and you fancy a personal reading with someone, with me, <laughs> that would be my pleasure. If you head down to the description box, there's a link uh, to my website, Sag. So I've already shuffled the decks I'm going to use today, Sag. So what message, what would Sagittarius's person like them to know, please, Spirit? Okay, you have better together. I'm just going to take that top one, Sag, because there's like five there. Been there all day. <laughs> so you have better together. So you might have someone here that's realising something about this connection. God, you have marriage here at the bottom of the well. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was a Gemini reaction. <gasps> marriage, oh my God. Um, yeah, this, you might have someone here that's, I don't know if you're in separation and they're, they're like realising um, that you guys are just better together, you know what I mean? They, and they miss you, basically. Or they could just really want to be around you, Sag, you know? What else, please? What would Sagittarius, this person, like them to know? Compassion. We had eternal love at the bottom of the deck there as well. See, this is the energy, just look at the way he's holding on to her. This is the energy of someone that really just wants to be with you. They miss you. Person really misses you a lot, Sag. And one more, please. In the stars, oh. So this person believes that this is gonna happen, Sag. Whether you believe it or not is another thing. Um, you also have blessed at the bottom of the deck here. So you know whether whether you agree with this person or not, they're seeing this as something that was supposed to happen. You know, like a blessed, some kind of blessed union. What else for Sag, please, from their person? Feelings. Oh, Sag, feelings. Uh, take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. Look at that, there's more hand holding there. It looks like he's reading her palm. <laughs> um, a lot of hand holding here. This person really misses you. Oh, you have bond. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been in separation for a while. Look at this, more hand-holding. A love bond grows stronger over time. More hand-holding. This, I just pick it, there's, they want to hold you. Like, they just want to be with you and hold, they miss you. They really miss you. And I think it's like one of these cases, like, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Like, I think they've missed you the more, I don't know how long you guys have been apart, but... They just realise now that you're apart how, how much they miss you. God, look at that, you've embraced at the bottom of the deck. Which, honestly, I mean, you have embraced what destiny has in store for you. That girl has beautiful hair. <laughs> um, you know, it, it just makes me, it's very much like this compassion card. Like, they, they just want to hold you, I think, Sag. They just really miss you. And you have respect here, respect your relationships. Respect my authority. Um, that is deeply ingrained, I'm sorry, it can't be helped. Um, so you know what, this person might have finally learned some respect for you, Sag, or maybe it's the other way around, I don't know, but... You know, you have respect underneath in the stars. So this person is having, you know, I think they're having some kind of realisation here, they have a healthy respect for this relationship, you know, or they've they've realised what this is or how much you mean to them or something like this, you know, because they, they miss you. So this is what I'm picking up here. Um, okay. I'm not going to take these because I don't really like the way they came out, but we'll glance at them. Um, also, I just want to say, Sag, I know you won't, but scammers in the comments, you know, please don't click on any links or phone anyone because... It's not going to be anything good, you know, when you have people, like, leaving stuff like that in my comment section, like, it's not, 
you know, it's not, not really doing anything good, right? Um, so please don't, please don't entertain the scammers. You have the world card and the ten of swords, so there's been some kind of ending of a cycle here with this person or for this person <clears throat> that might not even have to do with you. You know, it might be to do with some painful ending from their past or something like this. And that Six of Pentacles, Sag, they want to they wanna balance this out, you know what I mean? Hold on a second, Sagittarius, this person, jeez, let me shuffle. So I've already shuffled the deck properly off screen, but, um, okay, what would Sagittarius, this person, like them to know, please? Okay, what was that? <laughs> Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Seven of Cups, okay, that's confusion. That's just confusion. The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups, they're, for some reason they're confused, they're stuck in their head, they don't know which way to go. They also have the Fool is wanting to come out, which is like a new beginning. Okay, you have the Fool there with the Moon. So the Fool is like wanting to take that leap of faith and the Moon is being restricted by subconscious fears, basically. So that's what you've got with, with this person. Um, they, they feel stuck because they don't know what to do. Okay, you have the Six of Cups here. Let's just see what comes out to clarify that. That is amazing. You know what? I just did um, Scorpio's reading and they had the exact same cards, these two, in the exact same position. That is bizarre. You have the death card at the bottom of the deck. So this person is going through some kind of transition, like a transformation. You have the Six of Cups here with the Ace of Cups. That is amazing. I can't believe that came out like that. Ah. You're so funny. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it's exactly what I said in the Scorpio reading. This is the energy of someone here <clears throat> who, you know, they may be very confused and a bit defensive um, or stuck in their head on the outside, but on the inside, they just want to be able to give you their heart, you know. And they have a lot of love for you as well, Sag, with that Ace of Cups. There's a lot of feelings here going on that I think you don't know about. Or maybe you do know, I don't know. A lot of feelings here though. They really want to be able, like yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, they really want to be able to express themselves, but <clears throat> they're, just, they're just not. I don't know, that's quite a lot of spirit. <clears throat> so, okay, I'll take that one. You have the Fool here. Clarify the Fool for me, please, Spirit. <clears throat> yeah, again, there's this, <clears throat> there's this kind of juxtaposition, is that what I'm trying to say? But, like, they're torn. You have the Fool here with the Four of Pentacles. So that Fool, that's wanting to take a leap of faith. But this Four of Pentacles is something that is not allowing you to do it. You know, it's like summoning up that courage. Or releasing something from the past here. You have the Five of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So this is the energy. Of, now that Five of Pentacles is a harsh, harsh energy. Um, that can be depression. You know, it's that kind of energy. It's like rejection. It's being left out in the cold. You know, feeling unwanted. And there can be a number of reasons for that. You know, every, you know, some, you know. That can be family, that can be friends, that can be bullying in childhood, that can be relationships, you know, but there's some, there's something here that really holds this person back. So what action will this person take towards Sag, please? Sorry, Sag. Um, okay, you have the Nine of Cups there. The Five of Swords. What action will this person take towards Sag, please? Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna get some kind of communication or like an apology from this person. Yeah, Death Card is still at the bottom of the deck. They're undergoing a huge transformation here.
Oh, there's a helicopter. <laughs> They've come for me. <laughs> um, and let's just get three more for actions. What action is this person going to take towards Sag, please? Is that three? <laughs> All right, we'll take them. Um, so you have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck as well, so there might be some dating about to happen here, getting to know each other and actually being able to celebrate this. You have the king of pentacles here, so you might be dealing with an earth sign. Um, you have the ten of so, um, wands and the seven of pentacles. So this person at the moment is in this nine of cups energy, right? Which... Um, it's kind of almost one of those energies of like, you know, you don't make a move forward because it's almost better to dream about it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. Like if you've got a lottery ticket and you don't check it for a few days because you're like, maybe I'm a millionaire and I just don't know. You know, and then you check it and you're not and you're like, ah, well, there, there's that dream dead. Um, but it's almost, you know, that energy of like, if I check it, it'll ruin it. Like it'll break the spell. And it's almost like, because they're worried this isn't going to work or you you know you've moved on or you're going to say no it's almost better for them to not even try at the moment i hope i'm explaining that right like they're happy enough being in the energy they're in because it's almost better to just live in a dream world you know than to have your dream shattered because i think for this person if you told them no i think they would be very upset um you have this five of swords energy here right which this also came up in the Scorpio reading. That Five of Swords is not a fun energy. That can, Now, this person could have just got themselves all, because they're definitely in their heads and they're confused. Now that could just be, that it could be because they don't think very highly of themselves, right? Um, they've gotten themselves into this state where they're like, oh, this person doesn't want me and I'm not good enough for them, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or it can be an actual person or a situation, you know. Um, if it's a person or a situation, it's someone who's playing head games, you know, some head effery, breadcrumbing, you know, leading you on, this kind of BS. But they're going to walk away from that, Sag, because you have this, you know, the Five of Swords is in, it's leaving that behind, right? And then you have the Justice with the Tower card. Is that focus? There we go. Um, so the justice card is, is making amends, you know, it's evening things out. Um, they're going to have, this is like an epiphany, basically. The tower card is like an epiphany here, you know. Um, things are going to change quite quickly for this person. They're going to have some realizations here. Um, and the justice card is, you know, it was like that six of pentacles we had right at the start. like you know, making amends somehow. It's actually called the adjustment card. So whatever this person would have to do to make this right with you, like come forward and explain, excuse me, explain to you or give you an apology or whatever that means for you. But this is a good card because you have the devil here. Um, they're going to be getting over whatever this is that's holding them back. You could also be dealing with someone that's got an addiction at the moment. Um, that's not going to be for everyone. And you have this King of Pentacles here. So this is a card of leveling up essentially here with this. If I can just get the little critter to focus. No, not so much with the focusing. Please focus so I can stop doing this. There we go. Um, yeah, the Five of Swords underneath the King of Pentacles. Um, it's like an energy of grounding themselves. You know what I mean? Because they're walking away from something. And the King of Pentacles is like, it's an energy. Please don't. Yeah, right, there we go. <laughs> Please just focus this time. Um, you know, the King of Pentacles is very grounded. It's like walking away from something and kind of taking your power back. And there's going to be something that happens quickly for this person. Like, there's going to be some kind of burden that they release, whether this is like, a, like I said, a person or a situation or the way that they're thinking about something, like the way they're thinking about this relationship. And then see, they're, they're thinking hard. This, this apology or this 
phone call or text or explanation or whatever, this is going to be a bit more than a text, right? <laughs> um, you might get one of those irritating long-winded WhatsApp voice messages. Oh, I hate those. I'm sorry if you're one of those people that do them, but you're just like, what is this? Why am I... What is this? Are you famous? Why am I listening to a recording of your voice? Um, I feel like this has been something this person has thought about for a while. You know what I mean? I feel like this. It, when you get this m message, it might be somewhat scripted. You know, this person might have even written down what they want to say because they've been thinking about it for a while. And you have this Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck which is a celebration, you know, this might be like a date, like finally, like let's go out for, you know, let's go out for coffee, let me take you for dinner, you know, let's go out for a drink so we can talk, this kind of thing. So it really just depends on whether or not you want to wait for this person, I think, Sage, basically, you know. Anyway, so listen, I'm not gonna, I was gonna say something else there. I was gonna, I'll just say it, you know, they'll be like, they're, they're lucky if you're still waiting for them, you know, although I don't know what this is, you know, it's different for everyone, right? But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there, Sag. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you, as always. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me and, you know, take care, Sag. Lots of love. <laughs>